What's going on, y'all? It's J.D. Pakel today on CFB with J.D. Minnesota, a guaranteed rate, and we're getting in the zone, auto zone, with a Holiday Bowl alumni, the man who knows all things bowl season, Dr. Jake Olson. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel. Every single thing that you know and love about college football, we do it here on this channel. We also do it on a semi-daily basis, so I would encourage you to subscribe. It all happens because of Armstrong Sims and Jack McKenzie. And for bowl season, I mean, we we really went above and beyond here. We went and got the man, Dr. Jake Olson. Some call him Dr. Bolson. He's a Holiday Bowl alumni. Jake, thank you for joining the program. Tell the people about your story and your credentials for all things bowl season. Well, thanks for having me, JD. It's always a pleasure being here alongside you with bowl season, helping out our friends. And if uh, by I mean friends, anyone who decides to uh, click on this channel and are, is brave enough to do so. Uh, look, went to SC, first completely blind Division One football player, played, as you mentioned, in the Holiday Bowl, in the Rose Bowl, in the Cotton Bowl. Uh, I also, my senior year wasn't bowl eligible, and that drives my passion for bowls. I, I really, uh, that that just will eat at me for the rest of my life. So I give myself to the bowls every single season, my, my whole heart, because of uh, obviously that disappointing senior season for me. Yeah, I mean, I think you said it well. There's a passion and a drive behind this bowl season. Every single holiday season, you like to run with the bowls, is what people have said. And what better way to get it started off than the Surf Pro First Responder Bowl? We got the Air Force Falcons and the Louisville Cardinals. Louisville is favored by a point and a half. Do you like an edge here, Jake? Jay, this is this is probably one of the tougher games to pick from. And sometimes, JD, like they say, if you ain't got nothing not nice to say, don't say anything at all. And in this game, I'm I'm staying away. I, I recommend staying away. There's nothing wrong with just putting a few of these games to bed and this is where we're, we're going to just tuck them in nice and nice and tight slowly quietly and say have fun guys we'll see you on another another year <laughs> burrito style just kind of wrap them up and give them a nice little feather pillow for their head i like that i like yeah. that play if now if we had to make a play on this one if we had to pick it both teams are <laughs> averaging around five yards a carry both teams want to run they want to stop the run the difference in this game quarterback malik cunningham for louisville can he be multi-dimensional he's really great with his legs can he be great with his arm i think if you're feeling like you want to be on the naughty list maybe you sprinkle some on louisville minus a point and a half we're picking louisville outright though and that's all that there is to it auto zone you ever get in the zone jake I do, but when you say you have to bet on that game, you, you sound like <laughs> you may have a problem. <laughs> so yeah, well, I mean, want to make sure you're doing good over there. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you just feel like you can't function have without, to. you know, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I can stop anytime I want, but sometimes you just feel like maybe it would be a bad idea not to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like right, some, right. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. No, I got you. I got you. But yeah, let's get in the zone here. I love it. Get in the zone. Otter Zone, Liberty Bowl, Texas Tech, and Mississippi State. Mike Leach and his team are favored by eight points. What are we thinking here, brother? I definitely think Mississippi State's a better team on all fronts here, J.D. I definitely think that they will win this game. The eight points may be a lot. I can see Mississippi absolutely run up this score. But I was telling you, Mississippi, Mississippi State, who likes to throw the ball, Mike Leach, obviously we all know about it. These teams, if they do have a lead late in games, sometimes can get backdoored because they can't sustain a five six seven minute drive and run you know that much time off the clock so texas tech may get some possessions late in the game have a chance to backdoor so i like mississippi state if you want to parlay them on the money line adam maybe maybe tease them down i think that's a great uh move with this mississippi state game and uh, play i don't know if i like the minus eight straight up yeah, I think you made a great point there. You parlay Louisville minus a point and a half, you think, and then you into a little Mississippi <laughs> State and Texas Tech minus eight or Texas Tech plus eight, depending on how you want to slice this one. But I'm with you. It comes down to the pass game. Mike Leach and his team, they throw the ball just about as much as anybody in the country. They do it well. Texas Tech, they can't stop the pass. So that feels pretty cut and dry to me. Again, you can stop whenever you want, but if you really think it's a good <laughs> idea... Maybe you pick Mississippi State, but I think you said that very well. The air raid scheme lends itself to some back doors. You keep it unlocked. You don't deadbolt it in Texas Tech. What do you say? Plus eight. 
like I said, tease, tease it down, get another play you like, do a little two-team, seven-point tease or something. I think you'll be very happy. It's hilarious. This whole series sort of started as, hey, let's pick some bowl games. And then we were like, oh, actually, you can throw some money pick on these games, games too, should we? And now we're just exclusively talking about the picks in addition to making some extra cash money. And so for that, we say you're welcome. Jake, this was a game that you played in. Okay, we got the Holiday Bowl, the SDCCU Holiday Bowl, to be exact, against one yeah. of your... Uh, teams you're more familiar with in the UCLA Bruins. They're playing NC State, number 18 in the country, NC State. They're favored by a point, a virtual pick em. What do we like here? Well, Jake Olson does not like the UCLA Bruins, but Jake Bolson will <laughs> root for the UCLA Bruins here and then. Okay, so just know that, you know, it's the holiday season when I'm, when I'm cheering on those UCLA Bruins, and that's difficult for me to say. However, I do not think they will be cheering on in this holiday bowl. Uh, I do not like them in this game. NC state has looked really good this year. I think they come to San Diego. They enjoy their time there. They run up on UCLA. My play, however, JD is the over that point total is in there at 60. I think both these teams can score. I think UCLA, we've seen them getting some shootouts this year. Um, they put up over 60 points on my Trojans alone, which I know is not saying a lot this year, but I UCLA can score. I do think NC state wins this. It's going to be a high scoring game. I like the 60. I like the over. I'm with you. I also like UCLA money line. okay? I think that DTR, oh. he's too dynamic. I wasn't impressed with how NC State ended the year. They looked lackluster in a game against North Carolina where they needed just theatrics galore to beat them. They did win that game, but it just looked very lackluster. I think DTR puts on a show before he leaves for the NFL, so we're taking both the over and UCLA money line over here on this side, Big Jake. I love it. I, I, I like I said, I, I Dr. Bolson will be rooting for those UCLA Bruins. Dr. Bolson, and guess what? We got a prescription of the guaranteed rate bull, West Virginia and Minnesota. Minnesota's favored by three and a half. PJ Fleck and the Golden Golfers are gonna row the boat, Jake. We got good Jared Dagey for West Virginia or bad Jared Dagey for West Virginia, depending on what he decides to do at that quarterback position. Do we dare take Minnesota minus three and a half? I mean, what are you, what are you thinking? You're going you're gonna to be hard-pressed to find a, a rowboat in the middle of the desert down there in Arizona. But <laughs> I, I, I do think Minnesota comes and plays tough. Look, Minnesota's brand of football is nothing but Big Ten. It's run the ball, play strong, physical defense. And West Virginia, in my opinion, uh, like is not a team that's consistently physical enough, uh, doesn't execute enough to be able to – beat back a physical defense. I think they're going to get overwhelmed in this game. And Minnesota, I believe, comes out on top. Give me the minus three. Minnesota Golden Gophers. It's fun to say and it's fun to play. I'm taking them. They got one of the top 10 defenses in the country, only allowing 18 points. Jarrett Deggie, I love you, but I can't trust you. I don't know what you're going to do in this game. If you'll be good or bad. Your offense is only averaging 23 points a game. For that. So for that reason, I'm joining the doctor and taking Minnesota minus three and a half. Jake, we're rolling right along here in bowl season, man. It has been an absolute blast. I know. I don't want it to end, but the, the good news is that they've given us a, a, a packed house here, so we got more to come. So please stay tuned. And again, if you're not if you're not making money, then uh, then I don't know what you're doing in life. This is one of the easiest ways to pay off those presents. Absolutely. Like Rihanna says, please don't stop the music. We will keep the party rolling here on CFB with JD. We will see y'all next time.